welcome to our next edition of Online Storytime at the Dover Library. Hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, let's get started. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, we have a lot to count, so help me out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22. All right, let's find out what day it is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tomorrow is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I did a little backwards today. And yesterday was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. All right, let's do the weather. Ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it stormy? Is there a rainbow? Is it rainy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it snowy out today? Look out the window where you are and tell me what it is. Right now, I see out my window. Hmm, it was sunny, but now it's cloudy. It looks like it might start raining. I'm not sure. And it's hot. So right now it's hot and cloudy. All right. So today is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. All right. I have some stories. Let me switch closer. All right, the first one is called The Badger's Perfect Garden by Marsha Diane Arnold, illustrated by Ramona Kolitsky. One spring morning, Red Squirrel found Badger surrounded by dozens of jars. The jars were filled with seeds. The seeds looked hopeful, just like Badger. What are you doing with all those seeds, Badger? Getting ready to plant. I gathered them late last summer and kept them in jars all throughout the fall and winter. Now I'm going to plant the perfect garden. Red Squirrel looked closer. They're all different. Yes, all kinds, green and brown, flat and round, bumpy and smooth, whirly curly and straight as my whiskers. Where did you find them? Some from Weasel's garden, some from wildflowers near Dormouse's home. Some stuck themselves to my fur and some floated in on the wind. You have so many, said Red Squirrel. You'll need help planting. Weasel brought his favorite rake. Red Squirrel helped Dormouse gather strength. Badger studied his garden plan. We have to make sure that the ground is perfectly smooth, said Badger. Everyone weeded and raked. When the earth was as smooth as the forest pond in winter, Badger pushed big sticks into the, into the dirt. Red squirrel and dormouse stretched string between the sticks and to make rows. Be sure the rows are perfectly straight, said Badger. Weasel found a twig to make holes for the seeds. Bumpy seeds in this row, round ones here, 
Keep the whirlies together, Badger directed. When the seeds were planted, Badger invited his friends to a celebration. Everyone enjoyed muffins and mulberry juice. Badger imagined that plants would grow in a perfect rose in his perfect garden. The next day, the sky sent showers. Badger smiled. The day after that, it sent heavy rain. Badger worried. The day after that, and the day after that, it sent a downpour. Badger grabbed his umbrella and rushed outside. He ran up and down the rows trying to cover his seeds. The rain kept pouring. Badger flung himself across the rows, doing his best to hold the earth together. Sticks and strings collapsed. The ground began to slide. Ah! Red squirrel, dormouse, and weasel came running. My beautiful seeds have washed away, Badger sniffled. Seeds will float on the wind again when the sunniest days come, comforted Red Squirrel. After the wildflowers bloom, there'll be seeds to collect, said Dormouse. We can gather seeds when my vegetables ripen, said Weasel. Collecting seeds is hard work, and besides, I'll have no perfect garden this summer, said Badger. Badger could not be consoled. He stayed in his house busying himself with this and that. One summer day in the middle of the afternoon nap, Badger heard a clamping at his door. Badger, come look, come look, cried Red Squirrel, Dormouse and Weasel. Your seeds found another place to grow. Those can't be my seeds, said Badger, rubbing his eyes. They're all mixed up. They're just rearranged themselves, said Red Squirrel. If you hadn't planted them over there, they wouldn't be here. Badger stared at the hodgepodge of colors, the jumbled tumble of shapes and sizes. They made him feel jumbly and tumbly too. It looks like a celebration. It's the most perfect garden of all. And because the friends love celebrations, they ran into the garden for a hodgepodge of garden games, jumbly tumbly dancing and muffins and mulberry juice. The end. I like that garden. The next one is called, Did You Eat the Parakeet? by Mark Icolina. I'm not sure if I said that right. Did you eat the parakeet? He was right there on his tiny seat. He was singing a tune just an hour ago. Did you eat him? I want to know. Did you eat the parakeet? Did he become a tasty treat? You usually play so nicely together. Now all that's left is this single feather. Did you eat the parakeet? Did you laugh and say bon appetit? He was such a small and scrawny bird. To eat him would be absurd. Did you eat the parakeet? His head? His beak? His wings? His feet? He was quite the dashing, handsome fellow, minty green with a touch of yellow. Oh, she sees him in the mirror. You did not eat the parakeet. He did not become a tasty treat. You did not enjoy a bird buffet, a, a budgie brulee, or a featherhead flambe. I'm sorry for getting carried away, but wait. I haven't seen the mouse all day. Here we go again. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for today. 
I hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.